All right, good day everyone. So welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Catholic and Vlogs. Today we will be we will be talking about biconditional statement. Okay, so the biconditional statement, this statement, so this one, okay, this compound statement is called the biconditional and it's noted by which is read as P if and only if Q. So this uh, definition of a conditional statement P if and only if Q. So this is an equivalent. So therefore, this is the P implies Q conjunction of Q implies P is equivalent to P by conditional or by conditional statement of Q or P if and only if Q. So statement in this this is a two table for by conditional statement so when you talk about the two table for conditional statement it is true in by conditional statement only when the components p okay when the components p and q have the same truth value for example if this is both true so therefore the the truth table is true and when the statement is both false, still the answer is true or the true table is true for by conditional statement. It should be the same components. Uh, components of P and Q have the same true table. So if that one of the statement is false, so but the the statement or the truth value for by conditional statement is false. Uh, again, it shows that the P if and only if Q or by conditional statement of Q is true only when the components P and Q have the same truth value. Okay, so let us have an example. Let write a symbolic by conditional statement in words. So let P, Q, R, R represent the following. The first statement is she will go on vacation. And the Q statement is she cannot take the train and our statement she cannot get alone write the following symbolic statement in words so let us have first number one this one so letter a in letter a the first this p statement is she will go on vacation okay this one is if and only if this is a negation of Q if negation of you is she can take the train so you're going to write the negation she cannot do can letter B if this is negation so therefore this is she can she can get alone and this one is loan if and only if the negation of p so she does not go on she does not go on vacation okay for letter c we have here the p is she will go Okay, she will go on vacation if and only if, this is negation of R, she can get a loan. Okay, period. And the last statement that we need to have is negation of Q. So letter Q. This one is Q. She can take the train. Take the train because the negation of Q is cannot. Negation of that one is can. If and only if R, the negation of R is she can get alone get a loan 
Okay, so these are the symbolic. Uh, these are uh, symbolic mechanical statement in words. So that's all about uh, writing symbolic mechanical statement in words. So you have to try this at home. Let me represent. I will take a vacation. Let me represent. I get the promotion and let me represent. I am transferred. So write it, each of the following statement in symbolic form. All right. So let us have another example. Determine the truth value of a biconditional. State whether each biconditional statement is true or false. Assume that X and Y are real numbers. So we have to take note that when the statement are both true, statement are both true, so therefore the biconditional statement is true. The truth value of a conditional statement is true. And when both statement is false, so therefore still the answer is the true value or the true statement. Okay. It's stated that this uh if the if P and Q have the same truth value, so therefore this the, the statement is true. Okay. Basta kay na I false false or true true so therefore in by conditional statement that is true so let us have example letter a so letter a is okay so letter a we have to find or we have to let some x or represent something because this is x plus 4 is equal to 7 and f if and only if x is equal to 3 so let us have first when x is equal to 3. When x is equal to 3, the, the first statement x plus 4 is equal to 7, and this is x is equal to 3. If this is our p and q here, if x is equal to 3, the answer is 3 plus 4, this is equal to 7. That is true. But when x is equal to 3, the answer is true. So therefore, we can say that this is a true statement. The 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 by conditions the truth value for by conditional statement is true. Let us have when x is equal to negative three. So when x is equal to negative three, this is negative three plus four is equal to that is a false statement. And this is a false statement. So therefore this is true. So this is the truth value of by conditional statement is true. So letter B, so we have here x squared is equal to 36. Is I have here x squared is equal to 36 RP and RQ is x is equal to 6. When x is equal to 6, that's correct. True, true. But when x is equal to negative 6, is the statement here true? This is true, and this is a false. In letting x is equal to negative 6, we could say that the statement p is true, and the statement q is false. So therefore, this is a false statement, or the truth value of my condition is a false false. Okay? This is a false statement. Okay, this is a false statement because... When we let x is equal to negative 6, this is true and this is a false, this is false. Base here, true, false, this is a false statement. Okay, let us have letter C. When we let x, okay, f x is greater than 7, if and only if x is, x is greater than 6. So if we're going to let x is equal to 6.5, and the statement is x is greater than 7 this is a x is greater than 7 this is false statement and this one is when x is greater 6.5 that is a true statement so therefore this is a false statement okay so p and q when x is greater than 7 if and only if x, x is greater than 6. Okay. And for letter D, so if we're going to let 
x is equal to 3 here. For example, x is equal to 2. Okay, x is equal to 2. When x is equal to 2, so therefore, okay, when x is equal to 2, this is here. This is a false statement. When x is equal to 2, this is still, because 2 plus 5 is not greater than 7, so false x is not greater than this is a 4 so therefore we can say that this statement is true and let us try another one x is equal to 3 so when x is equal to 3 okay when x is greater than equal to 3 so we have here this is a true statement 3 plus 5 is greater okay that's true t statement and it's true statement so true true so therefore this is true so therefore the the conditional statement paid conditional statement is a true statement so that's it so we have to look for because when x is greater than 2 it will produce the same false false or a true true okay so that is a statement so let us Try this one at home. State whether each by conditional statement is true or false. Assume that x and y are real numbers. So thank you so much for listening for this by conditional statement.